Suzanne Lyons here again, and uh, thank you for joining me in my series on my first series of uh, these video blogs on um, goal setting. Okay, uh, we are now into tip number three. Oh my gosh, we're moving right along uh, into our second week. How exciting. Uh, I hope you've been enjoying uh, doing the, the exercises and the homework that I've given you. We've worked on the 25 year, uh, you know, where you are in 25 years and, and your achievements and the highlights and so on. And, uh, and very powerful exercise to kind of, you know, get you thinking big and, and beyond, you know, who you think you are now. I love that exercise. And then moved back to the five year uh, point where you looked at your five year vision. And also with your five-year vision, you know, you were welcome to mention your titles and your awards and your credits and any spe special, you know, recognition. And that was still the playground, you know, I gave you still in the candy store. Today, what we're going to do is the one-year goal. And that's different. It's now not just the vision and, and that sort of thing. It's actually a goal. And that's a little bit, you know, more specific, a lot more specific, I should say. Um, it's something that is really a tangible focus for your year, a tangible focus focus. It's what your actions will be organized around for the year. So it, it's 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 even worded quite differently, you know, than your vision would be or your long range plan would be. Um, and uh, it's kind of where the rubber hits the road. Okay, I still want you to be thinking big. I still want your palms to be sweating, you know, and your heart to be palpitating. You know, if they're not, then you're playing too small, you know, on this one year goal. So I still want you to be kind of thinking big, given there where you are out in the future and kind of moving back. But I also want the rubber to hit the road. You know, I want it to be something that's doable. You might not know how to do it, but it's not pie in the sky crazy. Okay, um, so just keep that in mind. Another thing I want to say about it is why I think so many people don't reach their goals is for a couple of reasons. One is we are vague about it. We're vague about how we speak about our goals. And if you're vague about your speaking about your goals, guess what? People can't get behind you. Nobody can support you if they don't know exactly what you're doing. Oh, I'm raising money for my feature film. Well, what the heck is that? How much money? What are we supposed to guess? Are we supposed to read your mind? So how much might it be specific? What kind of feature? Is it a thriller, a romantic comedy, a family film? Be clear. Be really clear. Okay? And you can even give dates. You know, by, you know, December 31st, I will. It's like something that's going to kind of nail you, your butt to the wall, too. All right? Um... The other thing is, I think, why we're vo vague, guys, is that it gets us off the hook. If we're vague, we're thinking, oh, well, I will have, you know, a lot more auditions. I'll have some auditions. Well, what does that mean? If you're being vague, then what that tells me is you're not truly committed to being responsible for getting that result. Okay? That's ex it screams loud and clear that that's what it is. So, <clears throat> anyways, uh, so... I want you to really listen because I'm going to give you a couple little tips on how to uh, how to have a little bit of a breakthrough with not being vague, um, and that is a few things. One is a goal has specific measurable results. Not I will get some more auditions. No, I will get six more auditions this month, or whatever. Six more auditions each month. So a specific measurable result. Not, oh, I will be more confident. No, specific measurable result. Number two, it has a single focus. A single focus. Number three, it's something that's doable. Yes, I may not know how to do it, but it's doable. Somebody on planet Earth could do it. It's doable, all right? Uh, also, it's a breakthrough for you. All right, it's a stretch. It has your palms sweating. Like I said, your hearts are your hearts palpitating. It's a breakthrough for you. Also, it's proactive. Not like, oh, my agent will get me more work. Uh, 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 uh. It's for you, something that you can control. It's proactive. Very important. Okay, so um, so that will hopefully help you get more specific about your goal. So what I'd like you to do for the exercise. In fact, let me give you a couple of examples that might help. Um, for some of you who are, say, new writers, it could be, you know, by the end of the year or within one year, by December 31st, I will have completed my first screenplay. Okay? Uh, nice and clear. Here's somebody from the, uh, some, some of my flash forward classes over the years that I put in my booklet. Um, I will have sold my first novel and have an advance um, to write my second book. Okay, that was actually somebody in the class. Here's someone else. I will have secured the $100,000 funding for my thriller feature. Okay? 
very clear. It's obviously, by December 31st, he's going to have raised $100,000 for his thriller feature. Um, so whatever that is for you, okay, and that's going to be what your exercise is. What I'd like you to do is look at the one-year goal. Okay, one year goal, and even if it's just one, I'm happy if you just do one, you know, between now and the next uh, and the next time we, we get together uh, for tip number four. So just come up with uh, what that is. One year, just even give me one, one year goal, something very specific and measurable, something that's doable, something that's a breakthrough for you, something that has a single focus, and um, what was the last thing, and something that's proactive, okay? So put together a nice, goal and practice it on a few people and you know that's a good idea how about that how about do the goal get out there and maybe call tell friend, 10 friends or when you're at a networking event or whatever uh do some practicing on it and just see if it if it's clear for people and even ask just say was that clear was that like crystal clear you know ask that question so please work on that and i will see you next time for tip number four